In this video, we want to take a, a little bit um, deeper look at checking the closure of a loop. If I start at the top of the traverse, I can see that I started by occupying point 3 from the data collector, relabeled at 3 colon 1. And if I follow all the way down, when I get to point 17, I'm closing out on point 6 and turning a closing angle to 18, which is the same as 4. Immediately following that, I occupy one of my previous points and start a new loop. So from 18 up to 3 colon 1 is a loop. And I can check the closure of that right inside the entire traverse by doing this. So I'm going to choose Tools, Closure View. Notice the hotkey is F6. And Traverse BC displays a snapshot of that traverse for me. I'm going to come up to Edit, Closure Settings. And let's start here at the left. Under Closure Type, we tell Traverse BC that this is a closed point to point. We're not closing back on point 3. We're closing on point 17, which is the same as 6. So we're closing on a different point than where it started, so it's not a closed loop. Here we get to specify that we're ending at point 17, and that's the same as point 6. And we know it's the same as 6 because we put that in the description over here. So for point 17 in the traverse view, I look at the description, it tells me equals 6. Now let's go into our closing angle. And I notice that for point 18, I turn an angle of 196, 20, 09. Let's put in 196, 20, 09. And all I need to give it now is the correct closing bearing, excuse me, is 6 dot dot 4. So the bearing that got computed by turning that closing angle from 17 to 18 should be the same as the bearing from 6 to 4. And that's what establishes my angular error of 9 seconds. So when I choose OK, and come back to the closure view, I now see in the error summary that I have a linear error of 14 hundredths, which is what I saw earlier when I did the random inverses and did a quick check on my closure. Um, and I have an angular error of 9 seconds, or about a second uh, per setup. And I could very easily then um, adjust angles, adjust coordinates. All I'm really looking for here is uh, a loop closure to get some idea of how well this loop might have closed. I also want to mention that each of the brackets here includes another piece of the closure. So here I have a traverse summary. Here I have an error summary. Here I have rectangular limits based on the public land survey system, etc. These are available under the view menu and include closure data. So I can tell Traverse PC what information I want to include here and really customize this. So if I don't need to see the rectangular limits, simply turn it off and they're not included. If I want to see them, go back and simply check it and Traverse BC includes them for me. Remember that the closure view is really a snapshot of the current condition of the traverse. If I were to adjust this traverse, the information in the closure view would change accordingly.